Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is October 25th, but three days ago on the 22nd, Samsung pushed off the latest software update. For anybody that is a part of Samsung One UI 4.0, the beta program, now this is the update number three. So the size here is pretty large, it's 954 megabytes with a security patch, which is very early, November 1st security patch. So a lot of things that we might be seeing with this one, if I wanted to go deep dive and take a look at a bunch of different applications that's changed it would probably be a part of that november 1st security patch but we're really only talking about everything that's brand new here for the beta program of samsung one ui 4.0 so one location where it shows that there is an update if you are part of the beta program is if you go inside of your samsung folder you go inside of your samsung members application then you'll probably see a little notification ding on the very top it's a little you know uh, orange little dot and it's going to be right here so you can see that it came out on the 22nd so this is the third beta software update for October 22nd. Uh, this version will end in Z-U-J-G and then it just kind of goes down and lists everything. So that's pretty much what we're going to take a look at, but we're going to do it over here on this screen here. And this is just literally all you have to do is just go right inside of your settings, go to the very bottom, go to software update, download and install, and then here it is. So some of the things that it's stating that it's fixing is fixed an error in which some menus were only partially translated immediately after the FOTA update. Google AOSP, which is the Google's final release, was applied. Changed from glow to stretch in the overscroll effect for Android 12. Voice command recognition in the camera was improved. Pet lighting effect was applied. Fixed an error which caused the phone to restart after changing the theme. And I'd have to say that anytime I played with the theme, uh, it never put it into it in terms of the material U at least. So I always had to restart my phone. So I didn't run into this, but if I did change the material U, then I did have to restart the phone for it to actually, you know, correct. Uh, fixed a problem that ended connection and text on other devices. Fixed an error which Bixby did not work on the lock screen. Fixed a problem with forced ter termination of the UI system and other improvements were applied. Now, pet lighting effect was applied. So I'm curious if that has to do with something with the camera, taking a picture and you're playing with the lighting if you're taking a picture of a pet. So because there is that scene optimization that's going on there, uh, it's looking at what the scene is. If it notices a pet, then it'll go into pet mode. So maybe there are some things going on with the lighting that wasn't really coming out with the best you know, uh, end result. But again, 954 megabyte size, ZUJG with the uh, security patch of November. November 1st, let's go through and install. Now it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you are brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, or at least the latest information on the latest software updates for your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And really today is mostly just to let you know that there is an update if you are part of the beta program. And also too, if you're not a part of the beta program, this is the third update and sometimes there is four, five or six updates that goes along with this. So as long as it gets more and more stable, then we are getting closer and closer to the full launch of Samsung One UI 4.0 with Android 12 for other Samsung Galaxy devices. So the update is done and complete. So how about we just go through a few things here just to see what it stated you know was new so we can kind of play along with it now i know one of those was talking about the aosp so i didn't really know what that meant so i google searched uh, and it turns out that it's the android open source project the android open source project is an initiative created to guide development of the android mobile platform so it looks like that was one of those things that was updated with this one and it's the final release so going back inside of the beta notices you can see here that it has a stretch when you're done or trying to over scroll uh, so it looks like maybe this was not there from before maybe it had like a glow effect on the bottom i honestly can't remember for sure uh, one of the other things was talking about uh, you know, inside of the camera. So they improved the voice recognition inside of the camera. So one of those things would be once you go inside of the camera, you head inside of the settings, scroll on down over into shooting methods, and then you can turn on voice commands. So in this way you can say smile, cheese, capture, things like that. So let's say that we go right on back inside of the camera and let's go through one and let's say, let's move it over to the front facing. Let's say cheese, There we go. Uh, let's do another one. Capture. 
So I think that works pretty good. So maybe there is a problem with it, and now it looks like it has been fixed. Now moving back over inside of the screen, uh, another thing with the pet lighting effect. So I think I can maybe notice the stretching. Maybe it wasn't there before. Maybe there was a little light down there, because I remember when I first looked at this, I didn't see this stretching effect when it came down to uh, looking at this from before. So, you know, stabilizing the color theme, apply pet lighting effect. So I don't have any pets with me right now at this moment to take a picture of, but more than likely that's what it's for. Uh, and then maybe just a couple other small issues here, one of them pertaining over inside of Bixby. So that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about today. We played around with a few things that it mentioned that it has fixed or updated. So now we're getting a little bit closer into the full release at some point, maybe November, December of the full release of, of Samsung Windy Y4 with Android 12. But I hope you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.